properly planned and executed wedding rehearsal is one of the best things that you can do to guarantee the success of a wedding ceremony and the entire day. Hi, I'm Andrea Eppolito, owner of Andrea Eppolito Wedding and Events. Every week we come together on this channel to celebrate life, luxury, and above all else, love. We talk all things weddings and events, and I bring you behind the scenes so that you can learn how to plan the perfect wedding for your clients or for yourself. Never miss a moment by clicking the subscribe button and you will get new videos from me every Wednesday. But for now, let's talk about rehearsals. This rehearsal is more than just a thing you have to do. It's a dress rehearsal for everyone and it's an absolute must to ensure that you have a smooth running wedding day. Wedding rehearsals help work out the kinks. It helps the wedding party understand what's expected of them on the actual day, and they give you an opportunity to make last minute adjustments to the bridal party, the order, and the flow. Now in this video, you will watch me execute a wedding rehearsal for a very large bridal party. I want you to notice a few things. First, we start with the bridal party up at the front and the top of the aisle. This helps everyone know exactly where they're gonna stand and what's expected from the beginning, so there's no awkward spacing. I keep notes in my phone so that I can review them later on and have them for the wedding itself. And if you're gonna notice in this video, I'm barefoot. It's because I'm protecting the carpet that we just laid down. So watch this and check it out. Now let's get this done. Bride and groom are reversed. Yes. Another brunette, welcome yes. friend. <laughs> if you get frightened in the sea of blondness, just look I'm, for me. I'm I'll do my best. Yes. You've got to be, oh my God, they're all so blonde. Hi Grandpa, how are you? I'm Andrea. She, this is the wedding planner who's the mastermind. Between I'm so excited. Hi Mom, oh, I'm Andrea. Nice to meet you. Oh, so nice to meet you. Yes, okay, good. All right, that's okay. Okay. Well, I haven't even seen... Where's your dad? My dad is right there. Which one? I haven't met him. Dad, raise your hand. <laughs> I'm Andrea. Hi, nice to meet nice you. How are you? Good. Uh, yeah. We are going to get you guys rehearsed and like move you through this break. Okay, okay, whatever you need. Okay, great. All right, everybody. I am the only thing that stands between you and an open bar. From what I can tell, most of you have been to weddings before in weddings. This one has a little trick. We are reversing the sides. We are going to put the bride and the groom on opposite sides. And we're going to make this super quick and easy for you. When you get in here tomorrow, these will be set as risers. It's gonna be really big, but we're not gonna be able to fit everybody. Is that dad behind us? Yeah. Hi, dad. Welcome. So we're gonna have maid of honor best man up and then everyone else on the floor level. Okay, so you will be here. So bride and groom, we're gonna have you guys. There you go. Okay. Now I'm going to have maid of honor and best man. No socks. None. Okay, best man, maid of honor. So then we have Nicole and Kevin. Me. Then Jane and Kyle. You're just going to, you're going to fill in. Tiffany and Matt. Elizabeth and Michael. Caitlin and Kevin. Alexandra and Dan. And then Lauren and Alex. So mom, I'm going to have you, Dad, and Benson right here. And then on this side, I'm gonna have the groom's parents right here. Officiant, sure. we'll stand right in the middle of them. Going. There you go. This is roughly the space that you have tomorrow. And you're gonna start from the outside and in, and you're gonna space yourself. The only people that are actually going up on the riser are the officiant, bride and groom, maid of honor, and best man. I'm gonna take you out so that you can kind of get a sense of the timing and then we're gonna line you up and bring you back in. So you guys head out. And now at this point, everyone just can go pretty quickly. So now you guys will come together, exit, come together, exit, come together. <laughs> now at this point, do you call for the families? I, I will, I, yes, I will okay. nod to families and let them go. Yes, yeah. so then they'll nod to you to head out. So there'll be three chairs right here that are gonna be empty for you. So I would say just because dad is gonna be the last one that he's gonna then have to sit down, I would have dad, Mom Benson. So tomorrow I'm gonna have you all lined up and I'm gonna tell you all to be very quiet. We're gonna push you back. We'll have two people here. We're gonna open up the doors. I'll be with you and then we're gonna say to you, go ahead. So you'll walk down. When you get right here, you'll probably just take a quick pause just for the photo and then you'll continue walking all the way up. When you come down, if 
If you just kind of give them a quick, like, you know, folks, please remember there's no photo and no video. Okay. Okay. So what we've done is we're gonna have three chairs in the front, come on up. So they'll be the chairs, so then you guys will come right over here on Casey's side. When you hit the floral pieces, you're just gonna pause for a quick photo. Okay. Yep, and then you'll walk okay. down and you'll start to fill in. There you go. Okay. And tomorrow I'm gonna make sure that your dress is good. I'm gonna fix your stuff. Okay. There'll be two flowers. You're just gonna pause really quickly at the flowers and then you'll continue walking. Yeah. Doors are gonna close. Music, open. We're gonna bring you guys up. I'm gonna have you come right about here. And I'm gonna say to you from behind, I'm gonna say stop. And then I'm gonna hold you. And then I'm gonna say, go ahead and I'll probably tap you. And at that point, you're gonna go ahead and just walk straight up. When we get done, I'm gonna have you go all the way back because otherwise they're gonna grab you. Yeah, there's like no ceremony. Now we're just getting out. And we'll be like high-fiving. Nice job. Thank you. Thank you. Such a fun group of people. Now the most important thing about running a rehearsal is that you keep everyone calm, that you make it fun, and that you take the edge off. You wanna create bonds with the attendants early because the sooner you can make a connection, the easier it's gonna to be to wrangle the crowd and keep everyone in line on the day of the wedding. If you have any questions about how to set up and run a wedding rehearsal, leave them in the comments below. I answer everybody. And if you are a wedding professional looking for more information, please visit www.andreaepolito.com. We have courses, downloads, and a lot more. Until next week, my friends, I am Andrea Epolito, celebrating life, luxury, and above all else, love. Mm -hmm.